Big news coming out of Hollywood, as the Oscars are planning to focus more on movies that people actually watch. Changes are coming to the Oscars. The awards show is adding a popular film category. Movies that become box office hits often nab awards in technical categories. Well, the new category creates more opportunities for fan favorites to be recognized. Organizers also say next year's Oscars will be more globally accessible. Thank you, Academy. Thank you. I mean, don't get me wrong, artsy movies are great, but like in theory, right? When I watch the Oscars, I wanna see Tom Cruise, right? Not some slob in a rented tux who challenged the way we think about solitude. I wanna see action. <laughs> and here's my opinion. If they wanna appeal to viewers, they should just add more than one new category. Like, I wanna see best illegally downloaded movie, <laughs> all right? I want like real categories. Like, we need like hottest Chris. <laughs> I want... Like the Oscar for the best white person playing a minority. That's what I want to see. And then the Oscar for best Meryl Streep. That's what we want. That's what we want. Spice it up. Uh, in other news, if you think Donald Trump has problems with Muslim women, wait until you hear what British politician Boris Johnson said this week. Boris Johnson set out to criticize Denmark for banning burqas in a recent column for The Telegraph, but instead he became the subject of scrutiny himself after insulting the women who wear them. Johnson said, among other things, it's absolutely ridiculous that people should choose to go around looking like letterboxes. What? You know what's crazy about the story? Is that he said that while criticizing Denmark for banning the burqa. Like, he was like, how dare you target these mailbox-looking people? Oh, you, you guys need to work on your tolerance. You, what, what, now I'm in trouble? Oh, oh, I see, I see what happened. Damn, Boris, like, the guy probably had one bad experience putting a letter inside a woman with a burqa, <laughs> and now he's trying to play it off like we all get them confused. <laughs> and also, just by the way, maybe Boris Johnson isn't the best person to be criticizing the way other people look. <laughs> all right? Like, maybe he should be wearing a burqa. Like, what's going on over there? <laughs> Look at this guy. He looks like he just got out of the shower, but somehow it made him dirtier. That's what he looks like. <laughs> like, Boris Johnson looks like if Donald Trump drank. That's what he looks like. <laughs> he looks like if Owen Wilson was addicted to meth and chocolate. That's what he looks like. <laughs> All right, moving on. And I do mean moving on. You'll, you'll understand in a second. <laughs> Police in Florida got some unexpected help corralling a suspect after a stolen car chase there. Check this out. Helicopter footage from the Seminole County Sheriff's Office shows the car crashing into a ditch Sunday night. Look closely there. Officers capture the driver before he can run very far. Meanwhile, a herd of cows goes after the fleeing passenger. South and east of you, um, <laughs> actually, the large group of cows <laughs> is following her. The cows rushed and herded the woman to a nearby dirt road. Deputies were waiting to arrest her. I think this says more about Florida than anything else. <laughs> Things are so crazy there, even the cows are like, well, someone's gotta do something. We've gotta do something. <laughs> and of course, everyone thinks it's cute when those cows chase that suspect down, but when I chase down criminals at night dressed as a cow, oh no, Trevor's a dangerous <laughs> vigilante terrorizing this fair city. I mean, I don't actually know who Cowman is, but whatever his intentions are, I think they're pretty good.